So you go into your client session, right? And you're like, yes, I'm very excited. This was such a good client. Uh, I cannot wait to have their session. Maybe say that was your first strategy call and you're like, you're really excited to work with this person because they seem very motivated. And, and then you go into your session, you do your techniques, maybe you do in your reduction, your deepeners, your suggestibility, and you take them to from scenes and maybe they're not seeing any scenes or the scenes that they have you think are just like meh or they're not actually getting what you're asking them to do and they're not able to actually get what is expected of them first of all this is normal and this is what happens when we apply scripts and techniques on clients some clients just do not work the way the techniques are built upon and so it is not your fault, but at the same time, it is your responsibility to make it better for your clients. So what can you do when things don't work out in your sessions? And we've all done this. We've all done this. You're not alone. And this happens to everyone. And so first of all, you want to then look at what the hell is happening in your mind after that. You are fine to make mistakes. You are a human being. You are not a machine that just is perfect all the time, right? So if you're still dealing with that, use your methods to help yourself with that. And so not being perfect is one thing. And also at the same time, you want to objectively look at what actually didn't work. So when you're saying that it didn't work, what are the variables, what evidence, and what are the facts, right? Looking at it very logically is really going to help you not become emotionally attached to the situation, which can lead us to making wrong conclusions and bad decisions. So if you look at it objectively, and maybe the client didn't respond to the deepener or the suggestibility, and they didn't have the, um, the scenes for regression, then you can then tell that maybe that person just doesn't do that well, right? That person is it's just not how their mind works, which is a fact. Not everyone can solve their problem You being relaxed. So that's a false teaching that hypnotherapy schools tell you about. It's not just about relaxation. And so when you can look at that objectively and say, okay, so it's not like the, the that you were a bad therapist. It was just that the client didn't respond to the method that was taught that puts a client in a box anyway. So again, but then you get to take responsibility in looking at other ways, new different ways to do things, right? And so if it is a client in front of you that it hasn't worked maybe you've had two sessions with them and you're feeling stuck what you can do is first of just pause get if, if you're using the hypnotic questioning method get your clients to process if you are using traditional methods i'm not really sure what the processing time is like for you um but the next time you have your next client session with this person pause and just pretend that you don't know shit, right? Even if it's your third, fourth, fifth, or sixth session, start from scratch. Start from a fresh plate. You will be surprised as to the new things you'll uncover, the new things that your client is going to realize, and the transformation that your client might already have had, but just haven't voiced it or seen it in a different way, in a way uh, that is helpful for them do that first with them start from a fresh plate pretend that you don't know the person and base your next question uh, base your next session on that because this will make a massive massive difference because you are in a beginner's mindset you take the pressure off yourself as well as the client and you can see their growth this usually works and if not it's time for a new method go to the hypnotic questioning course because this is what we do all day every day getting better at asking questions so that we don't have to get stuck when things don't work out in our sessions we'll know exactly what to do exactly how to end our sessions confidently so if you have any questions at all let me know and i will see you soon